Welcome to the party, pal. I am Commander Tom. This is Stardew Valley. Get summer started right. I want to kind of go through uh, some tips on crop recommendations and uh, anything else I can think of to help really turn the corner to get this season going well for you. Now, the first job you have to do every summer day one is to clean up the crop from what you did in spring. And it doesn't matter what you did in spring, it doesn't matter how you did in spring, I'm going to try and give you some guidance on how to turn wherever you are now, and to get your ball rolling in the right direction, and in the best direction possible, for summer. Because spring is so hard because you have nothing and you need everything, by summer day one you've at least gotten something going on. I'm going to show you how to try and turn that to your advantage. Let me get my garden cleaned up, tilled, and prepped because you can start doing that before Pierre's store even opens. I wish they would let you do this on day 28, but there's always going to be trash in your garden even if you do clear it. So let me get my garden cleared and tilled. And I'll... Okay, not completely done with the tilling, but I wanted to show you kind of what I'm trying to do with the garden. Through tips, tricks, or hard work, you're going to be able this month of summer to uh, have your garden irrigated one way or the other. Very quickly, in the first week, I think you can pull this off. Uh, so, it's smart to build this garden in the dimensions of uh, five spaces, because that's the radius of Iridium Sprinklers. I'm going to show you how to get to that, just trust me. Okay? So, I try to build usually 10 by 5 garden plots and you can adjust as you need be. But keep that in mind. And then I also like to use an extra piece of cobblestone pathway to center that, you know, three by three spacer to designate where I'm gonna throw my actual sprinkler. Tip one. All right, tip two. Throughout spring, I'm hoping at least you have uh, felled many trees and I'm hoping you kept the sap, convert that into basic fertilizer. You're going to want that for some of your crops, if not all. Uh, let's see, what's this? Farm will be featured in weeks up and coming column of Stardew Valley. Okay, yay, great. I'm doing things decently. Let me go to Pierre's. Let's talk seeds. There are several things you're worried about when it comes to seeds. And let me also talk to Marnie, because you also want to start being friendly with people. Anything here? Summer's here. Not really. Okay. Air is so muggy, I feel like I'm floating away. All right. Now, the big cash crop uh, for summer is blueberries. That is going to be the most profitable return of investment. I'm going in on blueberries hard. I'm going to be putting in about 48 of them. There's also some crops that we want to get because of year one summer bundles. Okay. We want to try and uh, make sure we knock out the summer crop bundle as well as the uh, quality crop bundles. So, I've got some melon seeds at home, but I'm also going to pick up some here. I'm going to pick up about 25, uh, I'm going to plant 25 uh, melons because I need five gold star ones for quality crops. I'm also going to pick up tomatoes, a couple of poppy, uh, uh, par pardon me, peppers. We're going to get uh, wheat seed for the um, fodder bundle. Again, for quality crops, we're going to pick up uh, corn bundle, uh, corn seed for uh, the bundle there. I'm trying to think and shop at the same time, and it's not a good thing, I swear. Um, I know I need poppies. I'm probably, there we are. Um, I think, yeah, I need, I need poppies, right? Yes, I need a poppy. All right, give it a quick once over, because I think that's probably gonna do it for me here. Okay, now as a favor and a courtesy to those at home, I'm going to do this. Give you a zoom up of what I've actually put together for summer year one. Alright? Don't worry about the specific amount. Worry about the proportion. Okay, blueberries. I've gotten about ten times as much as anything else. Uh, the uh, melons. I've gotten about five times as much as anything else. Wheat, about twice as much, okay? And of course, I'm trying to put fertilizer down for most of these things. 
take a screenshot as you'd like, write down the notes as you'd like, pause the video as you need, but this is probably going to be one of the easier and better guides for you to really get the supplies gathered together to make a good cash crop for the summer, as well as knock out the spring crops bundle and the quality crops bundle as soon as possible. If you can get those things taken care of, you really jump this game up to the next level. That's what I'm here for. Alright, thanks Pierre. Now, how this man complains about being broke when I drop several grand worth of crops with him every season, I'll never understand. Before we leave town, though, there's going to be one other thing I want to pick up. I'm going to spin on down to the saloon. I know that I'm going to be putting in a long day. So much so that I am probably going to be watering the crops at night. <laughs> Beer is tempting. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and take a look. I'm trying to look. At, I forget what the uh, energy versus cost value here is. And psychologically, I always buy spaghetti. But today I'm going to buy a salad because, like I said, I predicted in my Let's Play I was going to be broke by the end of the week. And I'm not that far from it. But I'm heavily invested uh, for a lot of crops. Uh, now from uh, Gunther, I picked up seeds from the museum. So that gives you some ideas here. That's spring. I need to plant the apple tree, but I'm not going to do that today. Spring, spring. Another tip. Have this box here. Big seeds, that's what I was looking for. Have this box here to keep your seeds. You can't plant this season for the next season. Mix seeds. You always want to plant those on the first of the month. When you uh, are awarded seeds that are for a later season, you should throw it in there. First every month, you take a look at it. Planning ahead, you know, Prior planning prevents poor performance. It's the same in this game as it is in real life. Now, I'm going to do a slightly boring part here of uh, laying some fertilizer. Now, I'm going to do something slightly... I'm, I'm going to give you some uh, unusual advice here. If you are limited on fertilizer, if you didn't keep all of it, if you used it for other stuff, that's fine, okay? Whatever fertilizer you can make, and I ain't saying making it, not buying it, but whatever fertilizer you can make, don't use it on your major cash crop. You're going to get plenty of that regardless. Use it on the quality crops for the bundle, okay? Use it on the uh, crops that you need to get more of the gold star on, because that is going to give you more benefit by unlocking the greenhouse quicker and we want the greenhouse as soon as possible because then during summer we can farm something as well okay that's that's the whole goal here is we want to make sure that we can make winter profitable as well by unlocking the greenhouse before winter year one you can still do stuff winter year one you can mine you can fish you can do that kind of stuff you can work up wood but it's really nice to be able to have some sort of uh, crop yeah, it'll be slightly reduced, but it's going to be some sort of crop that you can continue to get cash flow in. So, if you can knock out the greenhouse by winter year one, you're probably in the uh, faster 10% of the game, I'll be straight honest. Not everyone can do that. I'm trying to show you how in this will let's play. If this is something that you're interested in, keep watching the series. I will show you and give you delightful commentary and even memes. Alright, I've got the fertilizer in, and I've got the crops in. I wanted to give you an idea of an example of how you can lay this stuff out. You notice that I've got some uh, holes left open. Uh, oh well. Uh, you notice I've got some spots left open for where I'm going to put irrigation in later this month. Plan ahead, okay? If you're feeling confident you can do it, and watching this series I'll show you how, uh, then, you know, commit to it and uh, be able to plan ahead for this, okay? best way to remember to watch the series is just like and subscribe. If you haven't done that already, please feel free. I've got a lot of Stardew coming out uh, with a lot of tips and tricks on how to do things better for you. I'm also going to be nice to you, and I'm going to skip the watering, because you don't need to see me hand water this up. Uh, okay, and it's about 8.30 at night, and I'm only about half watered, but I'm fully exhausted. That's why I bought that salad. I knew it was going to be one of those days. And the salad will bring my energy from about uh, exhausted to half, but that gives me enough energy to finish doing the watering job. Again, this is why I was trying to show this to you. 
uh, and plan ahead. Again, prior planning prevents poor performance. And at 10.40 at night, I'm finally done with my daily watering. Talk about a day and a half. But it's worth it. If Getting a jump on things like this will really help turn the corner for you. You don't have to follow this space for space and plant for plant, but this gives you, I think, a good framework and guide on what to do on your own farms to really get things uh, built up, cash coming in quicker, bundles knocked out. I do thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, if I just made you smile, leave a like and subscribe. I drop videos like this each week. If you want to see more, that's what the playlist is for. And if you've already watched all of that, I've got something special just for you. I'm Commander Tom, and I will see you next time. Thanks.